Hey, how are you? Come here. Come here. Come in. Come here. Hello. How are you? The feckin' clocks, lads. It has me in a right heap. I wasn't prepared. I thought it was next weekend. I was thinking of next weekend as the end of March, but apparently Sunday is the 1st of April. So uh, it got me right on the hop. I mean, I was sort of in denial anyway. Um, but anyway, it's here and I have to deal with it and I don't like it, but you look it. Now, I, um, I have to tell you about um, this woman I'm after falling in love with. Right, you know that there Wes Anderson? Well, I love his films and he has a new film coming next Friday called Dial of Dogs. And for some reason, I started wondering about his, his marital status and was he one of the gays or what? And, uh, and I looked it up and anyway, he has a long-term partner called Human Maloof. I'm going to spell it for you. J-U-M-A-N, like human, but with J and then Maloof, M-A-L-O-U-F. And oh my God, lads, I am in love with her. She is a fabulous. You have to look her up. I'll, I'll ask himself if uh, if he can post a picture of her. Hold on until I ask him. Just close it, yeah. Post a picture of her. She's amazing. And she has this completely um, idiosyncratic look, as you can imagine, uh, for the partner of Wes Anderson, because he wouldn't be a jeans and runners sort of a girl, because he's not a jeans and runners sort of a lad, do you know? He always does be going around in the fancy velvet suits or the tweed suits and lovely things like that. And, um, and it got me thinking about the whole thing of confidence. Like, she looks like a Victorian heroine. Um, and that is sort of the look I've always wanted for myself. I've always wanted to look like a, com a you know, a consumptive Victorian woman. You know the picture of um, St. Uh, Les Miserables that they have over the theatre? That's what I want to look like. I want to look like the girl from Les Miserables. And so this human Maloof just is totally herself. And she's got weird hair. I don't know what she does with it. Um, and I wondered if life was hard or easy for her being herself and looking like she does. Well, obviously life has worked out to be very easy for her because she is the muse of the Gucci lad, Alessandro Michel, which sort of made me feel a bit better. You know, I was looking at her and thinking, how does she do it and how do I not do it? And I thought, well, if she's the Gucci muse, obviously, she is remarkable and special, but it made me think maybe life wasn't always easy for her. Like the frat boys wouldn't have liked her, um, you know. And like if I was going around Dublin like that, like uh, I'd get a lot of mockery because cause people, I suppose, especially, well, you know, people don't always like things that are different. And, but you only get one life and, and you might as well if you feel like wearing something, wear it. So I'm trying to give myself advice, you know? And uh, I was thinking about this shirt. I'm not sure about it. I think I look a bit like Harry Hill. Like the collar is quite Harry Hillish, isn't it? I, it was worse with the cuffs. I rolled them up. But with the collar and the cuffs, I really looked like Harry Hill. Um, so I'm not sure. But then I was thinking, I like it. And maybe I will wear it, even if I look like Harry Hill. Now, I, I want to tell you a quick story. Now, I'm keeping it brief this week because I've been going on too much. Um, on Thursday, I'm going to Portugal for the Easter. And I want to explain how and why it happened. Um, every year for the past few years, we have gone, the Keys is kind of en masse, have gone to Kerry uh, for the Easter for a hotel visit where in this lovely hotel they do an Easter egg hunt. And it's, oh, it's fabulous. Like, and they have the kids club and they have the movies for the, the posh tea. And it's just, and it seems like the sun always shines on Easter Sunday, although that can't possibly be the case. Um, so it was my job to book it. And over the Christmas, um, the Redsers were staying with me. Now, I will just give you a quick background. The Redsers have two guinea pigs called Masha and Messi, no, Martha and Messi. And uh, Dylan, the elder redzer, was very worried about um, the guinea pigs uh, freezing to death because he's a warrior, because he's like me. Um, redzer the elder is no longer a wrecker. That 
position has now passed to Reds are the Younger and Teddy, even though they're cousins, not brothers. So anyway, so I thought, right, so I'll book us all for the Easter. And I went online and I discovered the whole thing was fully booked. And I went into the absolute horrors. And I thought, I have failed them. I have failed them all. So I told Rita Ann and Jimmy, parents of the Redsers, and I was just terrified of telling them. And I said, please tell them. And Jimmy says, no, you tell them. Kind of like, you broke it. You deal with the consequences of it. And so they were watching a film. So I says to Redser the Elder, uh, Redser the Elder, when the film is finished, I need to have a word with you and Redser the Younger. And he is very attuned to disaster. And uh, he goes, is it a good word or a bad word? And I thought, feck, what do you say? And I said, well, Dylan, it's, it's a sad word. And then he goes, oh no, is it the guinea pigs? He had thought they had froze to death, you know? So then, then it was almost a relief to say, no, 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 the guinea pigs are grand. It's just I completely effed up your Easter plans, you know? And, uh, and he's very kind of emotionally intelligent. So, so we took the news and I said, are you upset? And he goes, a bit. I thought, okay, a bit I can handle. And so then I went to tell Redzer the Younger, who was a different kettle of fish altogether. He is a tough, swaggery young fella. Right, uh, Redzer the Elder is bookish, whereas Redzer the Younger is sporty and, you know, he's a kind of a hay buddy type. And so I broke the news to him and his face is like, like an Easter Island statue, like it shows nothing. And I said, are you upset? And he goes, no, no you know, because he wouldn't show me. Anyway, so <clears throat> I went on the internet trying to find another hotel that has the, the, the trinity. The Easter egg hunt, a swimming pool, a pancake machine. And uh, I couldn't find that combination in the whole of Ireland. And we found a hotel in Portugal that was cheaper. Um, and uh, and the, the flights aren't dear. And I feel quite defensive explaining this, but I suppose I get so much of my happiness from from the nieces and nephews that uh, that their well-being is important to me, and I like spending time with them, and I'm really looking forward to it. Although I have a feckin' notion, again, what to wear. Like, will it be hot? Will it not be hot? Should I get me fake tan done? Probably not, probably too early in the year. Um, but look, at next week I will be in Portugal, and I will do my newsletter from there and I will see if I can coax the Redsers to allow me to act out the, um, the whole breaking the news to them. They might, they might, Reds at the Elder might anyway. And uh, Hannah is coming and uh, it's her first plane journey. It's her first passport. Um, she is just, she is the greatest delight. She is loving life. Um, you should have seen her on Friday. Um, again, we took her nappy off just to give her the, the nudie freedom kickingness. And like she was laughing with joy. She's just the most beautiful person. And um, Teddy is so lovely to her. So yeah, we're all heading off on Thursday. Apologies if you are also heading off from Dublin Airport. We will try to keep the, um, the disturbances to a minimum. Um, and happy Easter to you for next week. And, and as I say, uh, we do it from Portugal. It might be a bit late uploading it because we fly back in the morning. But you look at it, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Um, so I hope I haven't gone on too long. Um, thank you. What's uh, obrigada? That's Portuguese for thank you. I can't remember. Uh, hang on, I have to ask him. What's Portuguese for buona, buona noche? Goodbye. He doesn't know. I don't think I've ever heard him say that word. He doesn't know. Say again, I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> right, that's a first. Obrigada. That means thank you. Adios. Close enough. Bom dia. Bom dia. That means hello, but still.